Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to look at an interesting aspect of Top Solid Mold. In fact, in this case, we're going to use a core and cavity block that was developed from a different CAD software. In some cases, mold designers have to use what they're given. They don't always get to design everything themselves. Top Solid's ability to work with any data at any point in its design stage makes Top Solid the clear choice for your mold design application. Let's have a look at what I'm talking about. To begin with, I have a project open on the right side of my screen. Instead of starting by importing the plastic part like I normally would and then developing the corn cavity split and whatnot, I'm going to progress to my final split stage, and I'm going to right-click and import that data. So I'm going to choose Import File with Conversion, choose my core cavity with Action and Inserts, and click Open. I'm going to go ahead and validate here, letting part files come in as parts, assemblies come in as assemblies, and Top Solid will translate that information. Now, as we are about to work with Top Solid Mold, there is another thing we need to do. We need to check our references and make sure we have everything we need in here. For example, in this case, in this project, I started the project out with, at, without any references to anything mold related. So I'm going to change that really quick by going to Reference Library. And I'm going to choose to make sure that I have my DME Inch, my Hasco tooling, for example. Um, maybe I'll come down and also go find my top solid tooling, which is the base element required for top solid mold. Once those objects are referenced, I can continue on to the next step. And the next step is quite simple to understand. We have to tell top solid that this in fact is a cavity block, that this in fact is a core block. And to do that, we have to edit each of these parts separately and apply what's called a function. Now, to edit the part, there's a couple of ways. First of all, I could go and open the part independently. I could double click on the cavity block here, open it up, and apply the function. Now, another way you could do it is you could right click on the part here and choose In Place Edit and edit it within the context of the assembly. Both are okay, they both get the same result, it just depends on what you're comfortable doing. In this case, I'm going to choose an In Place Edit. Now that I'm in my In Place Edit, I'm going to go up to my Tools tab and I'm going to come down to Functions, and I'm going to choose a function called Provide Function. When I choose Provide Function, I'm going to look through my list, and I'm going to come down until I find my Core and Cavity command. So I have a Core Cavity block and a Core Cavity plate. Now, Core Cavity plates are for mold plates. Core Cavity block is for defining a Core and Cavity block. So I'll go ahead and validate and add that. And here the software is going to ask me to define some things. For example, first it wants to know where my zero is for the split. Well, in this case, I'm going to use what the customer sent me, which is that absolute frame right there. Next, it wants the right plane. So I'm going to say this is the right plane. Now it wants the left plane, and you'll see it, in, it automatically goes to the next field it's asking. The back plane will be this one here. The front plane will be this one here. The top plane and the bottom plane. And here I'm choosing the bottommost portion of the block. And then I'm going to green check mark and validate. And here you're going to see a bunch of planes show up, and those are part of the function, in fact. If I open up my entities tree, you'll see that there's now a functions folder here, and that function contains the core cavity block and everything that we just defined. I can uncheck that to hide those reference planes. I validate my in-place edit. I'm going to hit save, because saving is always a good idea. And then I'm going to do an in-place edit on the core side. So here we go. I'm going to do an in-place edit and do the same exact thing. So I'm going to go back to my functions, provide function. Here, I'm going to go down until I find my core cavity uh, block again. We'll validate that. I'm going to choose my zero. Could be any frame you want. I'm going to choose my right plane, my left plane, my back plane, my front plane, my top plane, and my bottom plane. Perfect. Exit out of that and place set it. And now I'm going to hit save. In the next video, I'll show you how to apply this into a top solid mold document and use the mold automation functions like, for example, adding ejector pins.